The images we have seen this morning show a dire situation unfolding in a small town along the U.S.-Mexico border. The mayor there pleading for help as a surge of families converge on the border seeking asylum. This morning, an urgent crisis at the border. More than 10,000 men, women, and children seeking asylum in Texas. Sources say most are from Haiti, which is facing a humanitarian crisis following the recent earthquake and reeling from the assassination of its president. Conditions here worsening by the hour with limited access to food and water. U.S. border officials are overwhelmed. What you see behind me are individuals that have not even been processed or detained. These individuals here are actually just waiting to get detained. To stay out of the triple-digit heat, the migrants are camping under this international bridge outside Del Rio, Texas, 150 miles west of San Antonio. This is as bad as I've ever seen it. There is no southern border. It's pure chaos. There are literally thousands of migrants that have come, and there's tens of thousands on the way. The crowd doubling in a 24-hour period, growing from just a few hundred people earlier this week. Governor Greg Abbott ordering state police and National Guard to assist border agents. The former acting Secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, tweeting, this is absolutely insane. It is just the latest challenge for Border Patrol, which has seen surging numbers of migrants for months. More than 208,000 apprehensions were reported in August, four times higher than the same month last year. And that number could climb even higher after a federal judge ruled Thursday that the Biden administration can no longer use a Trump-era health law to expel migrants without allowing them to seek asylum. Observers say the situation is growing this morning under that bridge. And just for some perspective, uh, Del Rio, Texas, is a town of about 35,000 people. And right now, there are more than 9,000 men, women, and children under that bridge facing an uncertain